Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another SPL game. This time we have an Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon uh, OU game between Ginku and Psychic Mewtwo. I uh, see nice Chansey offense on Chansey offense. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure what this trend is in SPL, but I'm not digging it at all. Um, <laughs> see a Mega Main on Psychic Mewtwo's side, which is pretty cool though. I like that mon. Uh, so we see Lele on Zygarde lead. Obviously Ginku's not going to stay in here. This could be Scarf. Uh, it's going to be faster anyway because Zygarde's probably um, adamant. Uh, and he has two switch-ins, uh, Steela and Chansey. So Lele goes for Psy Shock, which is a good play. He doesn't really cover the Steela, but the Steela's probably more sp er, Fizz Def anyway because he has a Chansey. So I guess Chansey was a fine play there. But now uh, Ginku should um, should probably soft boiled. Uh, Psychic Mewtwo, depending on this Lele set, could call Mind if he has it, or just Crit Fish and try and Psy Shock or Taunt. I guess all of those plays are options. Um... Or if he doesn't, or like if this is Scarf and he's not doesn't want to crit fish, he could probably like double into Kartana or something on the soft boiled. But Ginku should definitely soft boiled here to keep this Chansey healthy. Um, but yeah, I guess like staying in and fishing for for crit isn't like a bad play because high roll crit probably kills this. Um, I would assume. Um, but yeah, we see Metacham double and oh okay okay. Um... <laughs> I don't like that play at all. I, I don't think Psychic like, Mewtwo lost too much from staying in and clicking Psy Shock. I don't get why you'd ever risk that, because uh, Metachamp killed every single Mon. Um, yeah, especially because like Psychic Mewtwo had the Lele too, so like the terrain support was going to help a lot, because like he could pretty much spam like Zen Headbutts and Terrain, and it'd be like... Yeah, I don't I don't agree with that play at all. Alright, so Kartana Smart Strikes. Think So I think Psychic Mewtwo expected this to be Scarf, right? Which is why I laid up a T-Spike, but now he's in some trouble, because this is probably going to kill something. Leap Blade does a shit ton. Uh, please no burn. I don't want to see hacks this early. Okay, no burn. Uh, good. So now, Psychic Mewtwo has two plays, right? He could stay in and sack this, or he could go to Kartana on the uh, predicted Leaf Blade, if his Kartana Scarf, because then, of course, it would force this out with Sacred Sword. Uh, also a risky play though. I don't know if you want to risk the Kartana because Kartana on Psychic Mewtwo side looks like it could if it's able to like if, if the steel is able to get whittled down it put in a bunch of work so I agree with not risking the Kartana there. Uh, he goes Manetric right so the, the, this Manetric will do two things it'll either Volt Switch or it will uh, Fire Move. So um, I agree with Landers here because I'm assuming that this is Scarf Lando seeing that the cart was uh, SD this pretty much has to be Scarf so we do see the Flamethrower come out and okay, so Skull didn't burn, but the flamethrower did. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, now this Landorus is intimidated and burned, so it's not going to be able to do pretty much anything to Manetric. Even though, it, like I said, this is probably Scarf, but like Saiyan Mewtwo is not even like threatened by EQ anymore because it's burned and intimidated. It's not going to do that much. Maybe like 40 to 50 ish. So I think like Saiyan Mewtwo could stand and click HP Ice here, and if this is Scarf Lando, uh, Defog would have to be on this if he has it because the the Kartana revealed steel move right so the Kartana is three attack SD so I feel like if you're Ginku you probably want to get the T-Spike off the field if you do have defog on this uh, and like I said like chipping this with EQ for 40 that's not the play because like you're just gonna die and I don't think Saiga Mewtwo needs health on this for anything so we do see the defog which is better in the long run to help Chansey and Zygarde but now Landris just dies and obviously that burn is like pretty lame um yeah, for sure. Now I see Chansey come out, and it's gonna Chansey will get the chance to soft boiled here because it didn't take it on turn one. Um, and I'll say Mewtwo will probably go into cart to hard cart would probably be my uh, what I think he should do. Yeah, we see the Kartana come out, um, and I'll say Mewtwo. We don't know. This could be SD or it could be Scarf. Um, go straight for Knock. Uh, knock was good. I mean, Ginku was never staying in with Chansey there anyway. But even if he did, like Knock covered. Or knock would have been amazing on Chansey, even better on the Steela. So yeah, knockoff was a fine play there. He went like this doesn't necessarily mean that it's not SD Kartana because um, he probably didn't want to SD there with a full health Steela that's probably very physically defense defensive. So I feel like knockoff there to take off the lefties was the best play regardless. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it doesn't necessarily confirm that the Kartana scarf like the Lele still could be scarf. Um, yeah, so now we see the Leaf Seed come out on the on the Celesteela, or I'm sorry, on the Chansey, and, uh, but Steela having no leftovers is going to make this really hard for Ginku, because that Kartana, every time it comes in, is going to be able to click Sacred Sword now and just chip down the Steela. Uh, it's going to be really hard uh, to keep that to keep that Kartana at bay now. We see a SD and a U-turn. That was definitely Psychic Mewtwo's best play. Um... And now he just brings in main, right? Yeah, that's why I don't necessarily agree with Ginku SDing there. I think hard leaf blading would be better because 
It gets some damage off on the on the Landorus, which means it's not going to be able to switch into Kartana later. Also, is going to make uh, Zygarde's job in the back a lot easier because that is most likely a defensive Lando on Psychic Mewtwo's side. So I feel like for Ginku, he should have just Leaf Bladed there. I think that would have been the best play overall. Uh, we see a Volt Switch now on the Chansey. I think we just bring back out the Kartana and. Um, yeah, go for Sacred Sword now, because uh, Ginku doesn't have great switch-ins. Like I said, he's like forced into Steela, um, but it's able to take some chip. If he's SD, he should go for it here. But the fact that he didn't go for SD means that he's probably not Swords Dance. He's probably Scarf Cart would be my, like, I, would, I assume it's Scarf Cart, and that probably means it's some sort of Z-move Lele. Um, but yeah, we Sacred Sword there, and like I said, now that you see the Steel is just getting chipped every time it comes into this uh, Kartana. So it's going to be very tough uh, like, yeah, uh, the Kartana looks like it's a huge problem at this point for, for Ginku. See, double out into Lele on Protect. Uh, interesting. I probably wouldn't stay in here with the Steela. That seemed a little fishy to me. Is it Z <laughs> Electric? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get what Psychic Mewtwo is kind of doing there because it's like you hard, like you hard switch. Maybe like, because he was, I don't, I don't know. That I, I actually don't ag I don't agree with that series of plays from Psychic Mewtwo because like there it, even though like there's no way that the only thing that Steelo was clicking there was double leech or protect so the the fact that you go hard into Lele is kind of showing that you have like a move to hit the Celesteela like otherwise you would have just stayed in and clicked Thunderbolt on protect or on the potential double leech but I don't yeah. I don't agree with necessarily burning the Z move there. I think you could have waited for the Kartana to switch into you later potentially and then gone for the Z uh, when you know it would connect because then that pretty much meant Kartana would win the game at that, like for sure 100% at that point. Um, but yeah, okay, so we see rocks exchanged by the Chanseys and now it looks like Ginku's Chansey does not have Toxic whereas Psychic Mewtwo's does. That's going to make, um, that's going to mean that Psychic Mewtwo's Chansey beats this, uh, beats Ginku's uh, very easily. So uh, that's another thing to keep in mind for down the road here. So I feel like Ginku's forced out here because he's just going to be taking too much damage between Seismic Toss and Toxic. Uh, Psychic Mewtwo could uh, soft boiled here uh, for sure. Uh, that'd be the play I'd make. Yeah, he does make that play. We see Hard Cart on the soft boiled. Good play. Uh, but I think you could just go Hard Lando here. Uh, if I'm. Ginku, I'm probably Swords Dancing. Because I think that Psychic Mewtwo is 100% going Lando. Uh, that being said, he doesn't need this Chansey too much, but it is like nice to keep because, as as I just said, this does beat the other Chansey 1v1, so you probably would just keep this healthy and go hard into uh, Lando. Um, that's why I'd probably SD, and then it almost forces the Lando to stay in and click U-turn, and you're able to get a huge chunk off on the Lando, and that could be really good for the Zygarde in the back. So, I'd probably Swords Dance if I was Ginku. If I'm saying Mewtwo, I think he's forced into Lando, though. Because so we do see the Lando come out, and we just see a hard Leaf Blade, um... Yeah, see, this is why I don't like that, because now Psychic Mewtwo has the potential of doubling out into the Minetric, which I'm... Think is still like healthy right so if you go main you get another intimidate off and you're not going to take very much from the leaf blade i think that's the play because i think you want to keep this lander set a decent amount of health uh to be able to eat a hit from the zygarde so uh you're risking like if this thing takes another um takes if this thing takes another leaf blade it's probably not going to be able to take a plus one arrows anymore because it'll be coming in uh, on about 30 percent after rocks uh, the other play that Psychic Mewtwo can make, though, is just you turning out on the Tana, but I think Hard Main is another play that can be made for sure. We just do see a U-turn, but now, like I said, this Landorus doesn't uh, take a hit from the Zygarde anymore, which could definitely prove problematic, uh, because this Landorus also can't Oko Zygarde, so it means Zygarde will be able to get to, like, uh, should be able to get to plus, plus one, plus two speed, which will outspeed the, the Kartana, but as long as Psychic Mewtwo keeps the Kartana healthy, which I'm pretty sure it hasn't taken any damage yet, uh, the, the Zygarde's not going to win yet, so just important to keep in mind, though, that this Landers can't take a hit from Zygarde anymore, uh, which could definitely come back to bite Psychic Mewtwo. That's why I said I probably would have went hard Kartana, be or I mean hard um, Manetric there, because you get the another Intimidate off. You don't need health on main for anything. You force out the, the Kartana anyway. But yeah, we see a Sacred Sword here and a crit, which, I, I mean, any extra damage off on the Steel is bad for Ginku, because he needs this healthy, for sure. Uh, I think he needs to Leech Seed here, for sure. I don't think Psychic Mewtwo should ever stay in here, because like I said, this is the win condition, 100%. Uh, cleaning up with Sacred Sword seems like it's going to be pretty easy, especially if Celesteela gets, is, like, eliminated, he'll clean up with, 
or yeah, I guess the Kartana is still there. But yeah, Sacred Sword is looking really deadly from Psychic Mewtwo side. So I don't agree with flamethrowing. Like I said, I think like Ginku needed to Leech Seed to keep this healthy because uh, as soon as now now this thing's forced out and then it's just gonna die to the next Sacred Sword. So um, yeah, this look, game's looking very good for Psychic Mewtwo. We see switch into Zygarde, anticipating Volt Switch. Uh, he HP Ice is like a Don. Uh, great play by Psychic Mewtwo. Um, yeah, I, like, that was a great play. I guess if the Celesteela stayed in, it's not the end of the world either. Because, um, even if he goes for Leech Seed, like, he's not getting back that much health because Hidden Power is probably doing around 12 anyway. Um, maybe even a little more because, like I said, it's probably more Fizz Def. So, uh, like, HP Ice wasn't a terrible play there even if the Steela stayed in. But now that you got the one chunk off on Zygarde that you need, I feel like uh, Sacred Sword is going to sweep from Kartana. And he goes into it now, and I think this, yeah, this might be the end of the game, because we see Soft Boiled, but Sacred Sword is going to be doing too much to this Chansey. It'll probably do around 50-ish, uh, and it's not going to be able to Soft Boil, it's not, like, Chansey can't stall this thing out of Sacred Sword, because I'm pretty sure Sacred Sword has more PP than Soft Boiled. So, it did 51, he's just going to spam it. We see a crit, which is nice, because it kind of expedites, like, the process. But I think that's game over, because Zygarde just took the huge hit on the HP Ice, and everything else is in range of Sacred Sword. So that should be game over. We see the Seismic Toss, um, because, yeah, Soft Boiling wasn't getting you anywhere anyway. So, uh, Psychic Mewtwo clicks Sacred Sword, gets plus one, and, uh, yeah, game over, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he played the Kartana really well, though, playing it safely, but playing it smartly. Um, getting the knockoff on Celesteela early was, like, the key play in the game to me. But, um, yeah, I don't think, so, uh, I don't really think that Ginku had another play on that knockoff. Um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. Uh, we see the game end there. Uh, yeah, unfortunate for Ginku. I guess he didn't really have any plays into this Kartana, really. Uh, it was a bit really problematic. Kartana showing why it's nice and broken, but, uh, really well played game by Psychic Mewtwo. Uh, pretty convincing win. Uh, so congrats to him. I think we're gonna see, oh, Ginku's going to let all of his mons die like a real man. Uh, goodbye. Um, probably killed about three Kartanas. And now I think we should be able to see the standing or the, the schedule for this week. See how these two teams, what two teams uh, these players are on and the score for the week uh, should be coming up soon. But yeah, that was a fun game to watch for sure. I like Mega Main a lot. I feel like Mega Main is kind of like a lost mon in this meta, but it's really, uh, it's still good because like, it, like, the fire coverage that it has over Coco is really nice because it's able to hit Pharaohs and Landos on the same set, which is really cool. And um, just Intimidate's really nice as well. Like, even though it doesn't make as great of use of Intimidate as some other mons, it's still, like, a nice ability to have for sure. Always useful. Um, so, yeah, we see the Sega Mewtwo's on the Tyrants, and uh, they win. The, he, win he won this game. So, uh, at this point of the week, it was 6-2, the Tyrants over the Bigs, and... And there are 12 games total, so the Tyrants uh, secured at least a tie uh, for the week. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.